let's continue. Let's see what else we have here. Oh. Hey, Asa? Oh, arrows. And more arrows. Yep, Jasuo! There you go, some more Jasuo. Look at all these arrows, holy fuck. Okay, Talia. What are they fighting? Holy fuck, what's going on here? That's pretty cool. Echo. Zaun. Oh. oh, it's Blitz. Who's shooting him? Orgot? Oh yeah, this one I didn't understand the reference. Like, why is misfortune in the water and why is the whatever, the sea god, whatever his name was, is destroying her ship? I didn't really understand this part at all. I didn't even, like, see any anything about it. Yeah, like, why is this the sea god trying to catch her? I'm sure someone covered I'm sure Necrit covered it. I just didn't see it. I have so many friends who aren't in the whole high fantasy stuff who loved Arcane and got into League lore after seeing it. For players, it's less interesting, but for Gen Power, it's an entry point. I feel like you, like you are right, but again, yeah, I know it's something with Elawi. I just don't, I never, don't remember Elawi being against misfortune necessarily. Um, Tian Li, I like, I agree with you. Overall, Arcane is a good thing. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying probably could have been better stories. Uh, I know what you mean about how LOL has way more interesting stuff than Pilt Zone, but I really think the Pilt Over Zone story was a good idea to start with. Do you, okay. Do you think the Zone Pilt Over would be a better idea? than something that revolves around war and invasion, something like Noxus Ionia. Because I feel like Noxus versus Ionia would introduce it better for most people than something like Arcane. Because Arcane has like almost nothing to do with League, to be honest, as well. It doesn't even create like so like for example league is a pvp is a pvp game right you go into a league and you're facing certain champions what would you be more excited for to play as let's say someone from noxus fighting let's say suddenly against irelia and like you saw this in the in the show so it would be fucking way more interesting for you like holy shit man i can't wait to face irelia as uh, darius i'm gonna recreate the fight in the in the anime right or in the cartoon then something like arcane where it's like what do you choose you choose jinx and it's like you if you choose jinx enemy can have a caitlin so i guess you can recreate that uh i don't again like, like yeah maybe I, I it could be that i'm coming from a point where like i just like because i know the story but honestly this was my opinion before i knew any of the story as well that i preferred the war stuff over the arcane stuff, but I again maybe I'm just biased because like I just don't like the drama and I don't care about the characters. Given I still know something about the characters, even though I didn't know and like the big story around Runeterra, I didn't know it, but I still knew something about the characters. So yeah, really, Piltover Zone, huh? Ah, oh, so you you think maybe they use the hmm. I guess maybe. I don't know. It's it's honestly it's like there's no really point real point to speculate about this. I just 
I guess maybe I'm just biased. Just I just wasn't really interested in those characters, so maybe that's probably why I'm just. Maybe that's why I'm thinking it. But yeah, there are just so many better stories. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, okay, Lucian going up there. Yeah, wants to save his wife. What time is this cinematic from though? For one, I wish there was like a date on the like the name of the cinematic and the date it was released in like every time a cinematic starts. So this is after Gangplank died. This is probably around the time when the harrowing happens, maybe slightly after. Right. Make more sense to build up the big stuff though, don't you think? Giant Blend, this cosmetic level story right from the beginning felt not that great. Uh, Dota's Dragon Blood felt more like a Berserker type anime for me. It's also like, as my like at least the thing is, I did I like Arcane more than Dota? Yes, but I like that Dota chose very very popular champions for their um for their story. You got. Fucking what's his name? You got uh Terror Blade. I wish there was more Terror Blade, obviously. Um, you got Dragonite, you got the Moon Priestess, whatever her name is, I keep forgetting. You got Luna, like the it's like very, very popular. Also, the original characters of Dota. Right? So I loved the champions that they chose for the show, but I feel like there wasn't enough in the Dota. Animation also is there isn't there like another Dota animation coming out because like that didn't really solve a lot of stuff Right, there's like so much missing from the Dota animation like they chose very big characters and Again, I knew about the characters, So it's kind of different if someone who completely didn't know about Dota and like you introduced to these characters the What's his name the mage? I, I remember him as Kael'thas obviously from Dota from Warcraft 3. I forgot his name, but like the the well, I don't know what he is, he's not even a prophet, whatever he is, the sage or something. Uh the the goddess was kind of like random, right? So like it's just like an extra being. But um you wouldn't understand the characters as much as a first time viewer. So if I could put like the like in this arcane probably did a better job introducing the world to non riot uh non league players dota made the anime for its player base that's kind of how i feel with that uh, i think it would be make more sense to build up to the big stuff though don't you think yes build up to the big stuff uh, but i don't see how zaun and piltover builds up to the big stuff the only introduction to noxus we had from that arc from the arcane animation was um when the chick that looks like Senna, her mom was a Noxus general. That is literally the only reference we had to something outside of Pildover Zone for, for the whole animation. Right? So I feel like it didn't do almost any world building. That that's what I'm saying. Like Arcane, honestly, if it never even happened, you wouldn't even know. Like, because it had absolutely no implication. I would say that Zone and Piltover is the place that is most like the real world. So more of the audience uh, could relate. But I would really like a show of Shurima's Fall. Do you... Th like, this is the thing. So do you really want a show, though, that is related to the real world? Even if, like... So here's the thing. If you're interested in fantasy animations... Um, would something that seems like the real world have like be something you're interested in? Or would you like fantasy, which is, like, magic combat war and stuff like that that's just story about rebuild reality without creating uh feel this is really important they're creating feel this is really important dragons also suckers there yeah yeah the dragons were like not yeah like i feel like the the story of dota uh dragon blood was just not as good uh but i feel like they chose the uh, great characters but Someone who just comes from not Dota background would be extremely confused and would have to take everything at face value, which really loses a lot of the meaning 
uh, for the characters, right? It's like for me who knows the characters, the characters meant more. And it's like I was like, man, I want more Terrorblade because I used to like play Terrorblade like crazy. Terrorblade and Anti Mage were like my go-to uh, characters, champions that I would play in Dota. Um, there's ties to Noxus. Singe is very important to a lot of Runeterra lore. Heimerdinger talks about the Rune Wars. I mean, <sighs> yes, but like it's really not the focus at all. Like maybe he mentions it, right? Uh, Singed will be very important for the Noxus War, yes. But, okay, here's here's what I mean. So, for example, let's say you have the Noxus War going on, and they brought in this mad scientist Singed, who is good at poisons. Would it matter that you saw Arcane or not to understand Singed's role in the war? Probably not. Right? It's like, he's a mad scientist who who is good with poisons, right? Who just makes poisons. That's literally all you need to know about Singed. For him to be in more than enough of a character for Noxus versus Ionia. And also, like, even if he was in the in the war, uh, Noxus versus Ionia, his role is literally just there to create the bombs. So it's like, who cares about his character development, really, if his role is just to make bombs, right? To make poison. And then, yeah, like, mm, you know, that's not like, Arcane could have been skipped completely and no one would, would even care, right? Not saying that it should be skipped or anything like that. Again, as a show, it's a good show. But <laughs> uh, the talk about the Rune Wars was really, really, really small. I think it was just like mentioned when uh, basically, I think it was like mentioned briefly as a reason to not go deep into the Hextech technology because of the dangers of it, right? That was pretty much what the mention for the Rune Wars was. I just know Jinx very popular and everyone at least heard of her. True. True. But that's why I'm not saying like as much as I would prefer a Castle in Malzahar, Kaisa, Void story, I don't think that would have been a better animation. I think Garen Lux would be a better animation. I think uh just Noxus Ionia, which has way more characters overall that people like, would be more. Uh even though a lot of people know Jinx. I would say a lot more people know almost everyone else related to Noxus and Ionia than they know about that they care about Jinx. Alright. Just looking at like what players play, Jinx is like not one of the top five, not even top ten constant bot picks. Alright. Yasuo has been one of the most popular mid picks since he was released, basically. Alright. Yona is extremely popular right now as well as top and mid laner. And like, Yasuo Yona, that's Ionia. Irelia is an extremely popular top lane pick. Right? But again, the question is, are you trying to cater to people who already play League or to bring more people in? And would Arcane be better bring more people into the world than anything else? Right? It's a, it's a very long and hard debate of like, who, which one, which category or like which zone would be more appealing to others right me as somebody who loves fantasy i couldn't care much about like the the tech stuff so what you're saying but they're planning planting some seeds ideally for me by season three jinx and vi will not be main characters anymore possibly move to noxus and ionia or even shurima because of the hex tech the way i see them building it Arcane would have two seasons, which would wrap up the Zound Pilt Over stuff. I do not think they are going to branch out in the same, uh, like, branch out from Arcane into the other zone. I think it would be like, Arcane is this. Then they're going to have, like, I don't know, another name for an animation that happens in parallel. Right? They will show my best support Janna in Season 2 Heavy Copium. Uh, they might, because uh, Janna is in Pilt Over, right? Uh, so I, what I think is they would make parallel uh, animations and like once the, all of them come to the conclusion, then they will all combine into something big or like somewhere in between they would combine them. But I don't think they would branch out from Piltover Zound into Noxus War. It would be like build up toward Noxus Ionia War 
and the build-up would come to a climax, Arkin comes to a climax, and then they combine and and ship that together as the next animation. But I don't think they I think they will do parallels and then combine rather than branch off into. But yeah, or maybe they will never like they will never combine. They're just gonna be a lot of like different uh, animations, and it will all combine in the MMO. It's really hard to say how they want to go about it. All we know is Arcane Two has pretty much been confirmed, right? So we'll see how that ends, and then it'll probably have more uh, more information about how they want to do it. But there's just so much pre build up, like having uh, Arcane branch into let's say noxus i feel like it will take a lot out of the noxus because i feel like you want to build noxus first with mord with uh swain with leblanc i think you want to have a separate show just to build that up and then throw arcane into that yes basically so it's like they're gonna make like the the avengers separately and then combine them into the avengers I feel like that works best. That's why DC fucked up and they just combined everything and then they went separate stories. And that's why like a lot of people didn't like it because like they couldn't be connected to the characters as much. Meanwhile, Avengers, people loved it because you could already connect to the characters because you had their standalone stories. And I feel the build up before the combination is just way more important. At least like I feel like a lot of people agree with me when it came to at least like the Marvel and DC comics. I feel like there was a bigger agreement like why Marvel worked and DC didn't, and that was because of the pre build up. Richard Swain will be in season two. He killed Mel's brother. Who's Mel? Mel. Who? Which one was Mel? Oh, oh, oh. The Mel is the the chick that looks like uh Jesus Christ. Lucian's wife. Senna. The chick that looks like Senna, is that Mel? And Mel's mother is the general Noxus? And Yeah, yeah, yeah the Senna cost. Okay, okay, okay. So Mel's brother was killed by Swain. Well, this also depends on what happens, like, because season one ended with a massive rocket flying towards where Mel was. So, like, she might not even be alive for season two, you know? Like, for all we know, the only survivor from uh, Jinx's rocket into that tower would have been Chase, right? Not general, she's part of a rich house in Ox. Oh, okay, I thought she was a general. Either way, she's an impor important-ish figure in Noxus, right? Anyways, let's finish the cinematic. Holy shit! This, we can talk about Arcane, like and like where it can go for days. Oh, that was the end of the cinematic already. It no, it wasn't. To me. Oh yeah. Took her. Oh shit! We're going into Viego stuff now. Let's go. Okay, so this was the end of that. <laughs> let's just talk about Arcane. Viego equals Stannis of Runeterra. Hmm.